Hello, so we're going to be performing a pH test on the Micro 20. First of all, we put the batteries in, in the back here, and we turn it on with this button, and it shows you the first menu that is available. Now, in order to do the pH test, we're going to need the pH reagent and the appropriate menu. So we open page 10 and 11 on the manual, and look for pH. So we find the pH fresh is here we're gonna need this reagent bottle which we have and we're gonna have on page 14 we have the instruction and the pH 1 is the menu so the one on the bottom there means the select menu and then the pH is the one with the menu so the select menu is one in the corner there we change one two three cycle through the large menu yeah until we get to one we need one but if we need something else this is how you change it with select once you're happy with the select menu then you start with a menu which we need to find ph so ph1 so al is not it chcl f ph so we found pH 1 just like it says on the, um, in the manual. Now we're going to clean the cell. With the water we're going to be testing with. So we rinse it out three times. With the water we're going to be testing with. Three, and then we fill it up. And we'll fill it up right to the top. We put the cap over and then we press zero. This is the basic instruction not using the app just to get the test done. Okay we see 0, 0.00 we're ready to start doing the test. We take the reagent 486639 is the re, uh, part number just like it says in the, in the instruction. We take out one strip and then we come over here to do the actual test. So we press read and it gives you a 20 second countdown. And these 20 seconds we just move the strip back and forth for 20 seconds. The move should be about two strokes per second. So just like this to be for the reagent to be able to be released in the water. Okay, we throw it out and put the cap over again and wait for the result to be appear on the screen. 6.9